Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be going through the second lab task from the Game Hacking book. And this one is based on pointer scanning. So I'm going to quickly read through the lab description and then crack on with it. All right, so unlike, unlike the last task, which required you to only win once, this one requires you in 50 times in 10 seconds. Upon each win, the memory addresses for the X and Y coordinates will change, meaning you'll be able to freeze the value only if you find the proper pointer path. Start this exercise the same way as the previous one, but once you find the addresses, use the pointer scan feature to locate the pointer path to them. Then place the ball on top of the black square, freeze the values in place, and press tab to begin the test. Just as before, the game will let you know once you've won. Okay, so we've got to find the X and Y coordinates as normal, so I'm just going to attach this game to cheat engine and then do an unknown initial fast scan and then decrease the value by one each time we push the y coordinates up so it's going to be this i'm just going to rename this to y dynamic then new scan unknown value and then again decrease by one each time we push it to the left and it's going to be this one and then x dynamic okay so from here we're going to want to do point scans on these two addresses so i'm going to start with the y address and just go point scan for this address keep everything as default for now press ok and I'm going to save over this one which I did earlier uh, replace it now in a game I'm sure you'd have a lot more pointers pointing to particular addresses that would be useful to us um, but in this one there were not too many uh, so there shouldn't be any need to rescan the pointers so I'm just going to grab some of these uh, pointers and then we're going to test uh, some of these and I'm going to do the same thing for the x coordinate or the x address uh, point scan for this address default and just save it over the x again also with games I'm pretty sure it'd take a lot longer than it did for this for this program uh, just grab in some of these pointers okay so we're going to want to find the proper pointer path and if we change the value of the y uh, to 3 see that all of them change to 3 if changes to 27 so that all of them change to 27 the gray ball is in the black square so at this point we don't know what the proper pointer path is but we could just check some of them and see what happens with the program after we click tab so checking them will freeze these uh, addresses freeze the pointers and we'll see what happens to the execution of the program if it crashes we know that some of them may be incorrect some of them could actually be correct because we're dealing with two different pointers but um this is why i did uh first time i i did this and this is how i actually found the correct pointer path to the x and y coordinates if there is a better way if there's a more efficient way uh, that you're aware of them just let me know that would be helpful <laughs> um, so yeah let's just click tab and see what happens and the program crashes which is fine because we do have the pointers we don't have to we don't have to rescan for the x y coordinates or anything like that and what we'll do this time is we'll just uncheck these and check the rest even though that's like a really bad way <laughs> because we're dealing with two different values okay so we're just gonna also at this point just notice how the y dynamic value and the x dynamic value 
contains zeros. Maybe less three on both of them. Let's just see if we press tab this time. Okay, in this case we see that we're winning very quickly and we won of we won fifty times in ten seconds. And from all of these pointers we do see one contains a value of three, another one the next pointer contains the value of 27 so these two I know for sure are going to be our proper pointer paths to the x and y coordinates I can just remove these uh, and we could just verify that by running it again. This time exiting from the program and then rerunning it. Oh wait, yeah, the values are frozen. Oh, damn it, I think I forgot to attach, attach to it. There we go. Silly mistake. <laughs> um, if I change this to 3, change this to 27, and then I just check them both again, and we click tab in the game. Again, yeah, so we see that these pointers are always pointing to the addresses which contain our coordinates and that works. So the other pointers at some point do point to the coordinate um, addresses, but then they could change the things that they point to and the values would therefore change. And so those are not the point proper pointer path. These ones are these ones would be the static pointer which constantly points to the uh, addresses which contain the data for the x and y coordinates of the grey pool. Uh, that's it for this video. In my next one I'll probably go over the next uh, lab task which would be to do um, some, some debugging. And then see what happens after that. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day and bye.